chance you've never heard of BlackRock. Founded in only 1988, in less than 30 years, this American financial firm would grow to become the company that owns the world, managing assets worth $6.3 trillion. These are assets that belong to their clients, mainly the pension funds of ordinary people, teachers, police officers, nurses, and many more. Because we're in the middle of something else going on here, nothing to do with Donald Trump. We're in, in the middle of what I call, other people call, the fourth industrial revolution. Is, or is there going to be middle class where, you know, Moore's Law, the IT, the way we're walking, you know, artificial intelligence. Uh, look what's happened with all the retail jobs that got lost because of Amazon. Now people go to Amazon and so all across the country, a couple hundred thousand people lost their jobs. And people are worried. Truck drivers I talked to are saying, well, you know, they're going to automate trucking. I know, and I'm not going to have a job. The so fourth industrial revolution has one big challenge. It is the holding out of the middle class, which is a pillar of our democracies. So topic, and Dr. Schwab, I'm flattered you'd ask me to keynote. Uh, there's an expression in my old neighborhood back in the United States. This may be above my pay grade. It's not above yours, though. You've written extensively on the topic that you've asked me to speak to, mastering the fourth industrial revolution. This fora decide, defines uh, that as uh, change fueled by a digital revolution. We're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance, agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their own countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe. If you do like what you're listening to, please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order Book. The New World Order Book is going to show you how the world works. It is definitely time to wake up out of your sleep in the times that we're in right now. Plus, guys, we know we're waiting on that next main event towards the end of the year. We had the first quarter event. Like I told you, that would happen. Don't forget this is Shemitah year. And then also, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's definitely time to re-educate. And also, those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon, much love, keep it coming. Do not forget I have the New World Order cryptos in my Patreon. Do your own research, but going inside of a bear market, you definitely want the cryptos that have real use cases. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores, keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. And right now, we have Bitcoin and crypto slightly down. We have the big news from BlackRock to offer crypto for institutional investors through Coinbase. And guys, you know, if we were in the bull market, cryptos would move up sky high. We see Coinbase getting a pump right now. And we know BlackRock and Vanguard own everything. And we knew this day would happen, and we know they would do it during a bear market. Guys, yes, cryptos right now are going to get a relief, but we still have over 20,000 cryptos, and cryptos are going to move down further 
Once they pull that rug, I'm not your financial advice, not financial advice. Please do your own research. But remember, guys, they have to destroy this legacy market in order to bring up the fourth industrial revolution, where the robots, algorithms, and drones take over the economy and the sheep go inside the metaverse. And guys, also, these are clients that are part of the Aladdin. And we know Aladdin is nothing but a bot. It's the machine takeover. So right now in August, going into September, we should get a nice move up. Of course, guys, we're still going to have pullbacks, pumps, and dumps. And speaking of pumps and dumps, seeing me to roll out euro-denominated Bitcoin and Ethereum futures on August 29th. So guys, the casino is going to get even bigger. Like I stated, they're going to be pulling this rug. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. That's the reason why I'm redoing the stock channel, guys. It's going to be solely about the money. Nothing conscious. You can come to this channel or in my Patreon to get the conscious material. But guys, make sure you're paying attention to the actual indicators. We have yield rates, which they're pushing down right now. Volume, tether, USDC, and then, of course, guys, we have the Fed. Make sure you're pulling the actual repo. And then, plus, guys, we see these central banks moving in lockstep. We have the Bank of England raising rates again, 50 basis points. And, guys, remember, all this is happening during Shemitah year. They are causing the collapse, so then, therefore, they can start building. And we know the fourth industrial revolution where the robots, algorithms, and drones take over the economy and the sheep go inside the metaverse. Now, don't forget about Grayscale. Grayscale moved up slightly, about $400 million. Make sure you're paying attention to the actual allocations. But getting over into a little crypto news, we have Optimism Rallies. Now, we have Slope Wallets blamed for Solana-based wallet attack. And guys, you know how I feel about these hacks. And we see every time we get a hack, it's like the politicians are riding on the back. And then we have Starbucks teases Web3 rewards program to get and retain customers. And we see these large corporations are falling in line, integrating the fourth industrial revolution. And then lastly, we have Chinese Municipal Bank issues first ever digital yuan loan using intellectual property. And guys, we know China, the digital yuan is moving fast forward. We know China is going to have the world reserve currency dethroning the U.S. dollar. We see them selling down U.S. treasuries. I showed that in my Patreon. The Fed printed 20% of all money in existence to destroy the U.S. dollar and to start to build this fourth industrial revolution. And this is a global effort. Bretton Woods 2.0 is right around the corner. And remember, the crypto teacher told you, it's going to be the fall of the United States World Reserve Currency in America to Babylon. And the rise of China, the BRICS nations, the digital yuan, backed by that digital SDR. And remember, the crypto teacher told you, and he wrote about it a long time ago. And that's the reason why we hear the drums are beating. We know the NWO caused the problem. Wait for the reaction and run in with the solution. And that solution is programmable money. Blockchain, which gives the NWO the all C and I. Remember, your life is an illusion and TV is your reality. Because we know, when it comes to the New World Order, it's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book, plus the three kids books, it's time to re-educate. Also, new to cryptos, Coinbase, BitChu, Binance, and I forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The Crypto Teacher Stock Channel, Crypto Teacher Stocks, you have your Kobo, your chips out, your banking, your gaming, while everybody's sitting at home, that own stocks, the C-Rod, the biotech stocks, and while everybody's at home wishing they were still getting that free money, what are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks, and you have a wonderful day. most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come, Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity 
to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim save the village. Part 2. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim goes to China. It's mandatory to get Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3 of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.